Hey everyone. Hey, with the Paris Olympics right around the corner, I wanted to look at one of the Olympic sports that's always been very interesting to me, and that's Olympic weightlifting. Now, mainly while I'm in awe of the athletes and how their performance gets better with every cycle, I'm also looking at it from the engineering side of it. I look at that barbell and I see how much it bends under those loads, and I just wonder how much weight could it hold before it actually yields. And by that I mean, at what point does it not go back to its original shape after that weight is applied? Now the good thing is I have access to the Altair engineering tools, so I can get a rough estimate pretty quickly. Now for this one I'm going to choose Altair Inspire, and I'm going to do that for a few reasons. The first reason is that it's incredibly easy to use. And the second reason is I don't need to see what happens after yield, I just want to see at what point would it yield, and that's something Inspire does really well. Now if I did want to see what does happen after yield, I'd probably use a tool like Altair SimLab or Altair HyperWorks. Those applications are great for those tools. So there are a few different ways to set up this simulation and different variables could change that end result. Like for this, I'm going to use 100 pound plates instead of 45 pound plates, which are standard, just to make this a little bit more simple. I just want to set up a basic static linear analysis. Now before I do that, I want to make sure I'm using the Optistruct solver that's built inside the Inspire interface. I'm going to do that by going to the File, Preferences, Run Options, and just make sure it has the Optistruct in the solver field. Next, I want to make sure my contacts are set up correctly. When I look at my contacts, I can see I have sliding contacts on one side of my bar and bonded contacts on the other side of my bar. Now I do want them all to be sliding contacts, so all I need to do is highlight these contacts here the menu pops up giving me the option to change it right here, and then I can move on. So now I feel like my model is set up correctly. And now I want to find out what my ultimate goal is, which is, what is the yield point for this bar? Now I know the bar is made of steel, so if I look at the material properties, I can see the yield stress for this bar is just about 85 KSI. So that's my goal to exceed that amount. So to set up my study, I'll start by adding some constraints. I'm going to choose the handholds right near the neural marks on the bar. Now some weightlifters choose a wider grip, but I'm just keeping it simple and adding them here for the sake of the analysis. Now I do want to make sure the constraints are locked in certain directions, but can translate on the z-axis. Now I can do that by double clicking the constraint, or I can hit shift plus selecting the constraint. And then you can see the arrows here. If the arrows are gray, that means they're locked, but the motion I want to study is translated on the z-axis, so I want that free. So if I click that, it turns green. Now, because I'm setting this up as a static linear test, I'm not simulating the full range of motion. I'm just gonna apply a load to each plate, and I'm starting with three plates on each side, so 600 pounds total, and that's because the current Olympic record is 265 kilograms, which is roughly 584 pounds, and during that lift, the bar didn't yield. Okay, so when I go to run the simulation, you can see the options I have for my study. Whether it's the frequency or buckling options, I have a speed versus accuracy settings. I can apply gravity, and you can see my contacts are using my global contacts I've already set. And then I'm just gonna make sure that the load case that I've set up, which is the constraints and the uh, loads on the plate that I've set up, is being applied correctly. Now all I need to do is hit run. Now I'm going to speed this up, but Inspire will run the analysis, create the mesh, and do everything on the back end. Okay, let's see the results. Now I'm getting some decent deflection, which is expected. What I'm most worried about, though, is the stress, since that will tell me if I'm near yield or not. So that's showing me right around 61 KSI, so not really where I want to be. I can also use the percent of yield option in the dropdown, and that shows me I'm right around 72% of yield for the bar as is. Now the next step I'm going to take is to add another 100 pound plate on each side of the bar. To add that, it's really easy. I can do Control C plus Control V, and that'll copy and paste the bar for me, or I can do the right click, copy and paste as well. And then I just need to apply my load. Again, it's gonna be a 100 pound load on the Z direction on each of these plates. Then I'm gonna run the simulation using the same settings. Now again, I'm gonna speed this up for you, but in general, this entire solve portion of it took about two and a half minutes to run the full solve. So this is great. You can see now when I look at the percent of yield, 
I'm almost at 97%. So I'm near that 100% mark that I'm really looking for. So I know I'm really close on getting the result that I want to right now at about 800 pounds. Now for the next step, I am going to add another plate on each side. I'm going to do that the same way with the control C, control V to copy and paste that part. But instead of doing 100 pounds of force, I'm just going to apply 25 pounds this time on each plate. And I'm going to change the color of gray just so I can see the difference. And now the load is about 850 pounds total. Okay, I'll hit run and use the same settings as before. Okay, let's see what we got. I got some big displacement, but again, let's look at the stress since that's my goal to hit the 85 KSI. So it looks like we did it. This is actually showing me right around 87 KSI. And again, one thing I love about Inspire is I can use this little drag bar to see which part of my design is actually feeling that much stress. And then again, I can come to the drop down menu and check my percent of yield, and it's showing me right at 103%. So I'm exceeding my 85 KSI. I'm exceeding my 100% of yield that I was looking to achieve. So again, I know this isn't an exact replica of the scenario these barbells will be going through in the Olympics. My goal is just to get a rough estimate of what's going on, and Alter Inspire helped me do that. If you want to learn more about Inspire, go to www.trueinsight.io.